Hi, uh, welcome back to Bulgarian Organic Small Holding. It's uh, Tuesday, it's the 12th of June, and it's now about uh, 15 20 hours. Just an update uh, today on the four porkers, the pigs. Um, I'm filming up here in my uh, terrace at the moment, upon my terrace, because I don't want to disturb them. I want to try and creep up on them. And um, they're somewhere down there in the jungle. Uh, but when I call for them with the food, they should come running. I'm not sure from which direction. And uh, so I'm going to switch over the camera to the chest rig. Uh, so I'm hands free because I have buckets of food to take down there. And we'll have a look at the porkers. Over and out for now. You really don't want to be out in this. The best it gets. Only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Oh, get your bloody nose off the lens. Hey, it's uh, Saturday 27th. No, it's Monday. I think we'll start that one again. I'm not sure which one will be the most tasty. They're still, they are moving about. Actually, it's not so bad. I recommend them, but next time I'm frying them off. All good stuff. All good stuff. Crafting the okay, I'm in the shade of the walnut tree and uh, down in that direction, what they call the dairy, the gully I mentioned many times before. It's all now under electric fencing and down in the jungle there somewhere are our four porkers, picky porkers. They'll be wallowing or foraging, I have no idea. And my mission now is to go here to where my um, borehole is and uh, mix their porridge. But they've got a treat today because they've got, that's my beer, but they've got cherries and bread. Because the cherries unfortunately are starting to go off, so it's best the pigs get them. The sheep also like the cherries, but the pigs more so, I think. So I basically have a system here of numerous buckets. At the moment I'm using this here rubber bucket. And I'll turn the water on down here for the hose. I'll half fill this bucket. It's already been cleaned out. Water is warm. Because the whole pipe is sitting in the sun. So they get warm porridge. Okay, it's probably about enough water. I can always add a bit more. I like to make it of a consistency where I can quite easily pour it out of the bucket. So use these metal oil drums. These actually had contained apple juice before. And a couple of big scoops of this into yonder bucket. up. This keeps vermin out, such as rats and mice and what have you. I try to be quiet so they're not all waiting for me down there, oink oinking and trying to get the bucket out of my hands. So I just use this ordinary stick, give it a poke. Now, Let's do it. Just want to get a nice wet consistency, not too sloppy and not too sticky. I'm not plastering walls with it. 
because you'll see when I get down below why I want to be able to pour it easily into the trough. Yeah, it's thickening up nicely now. Makes a good mealy porridge. Give that a tap. Okay. Got to walk a fair little bit down there, so let's arm myself with my rubber gloves. And let's grab yay buckets. One, wow. So a few kilos of that. And the leftovers and cherries and my beer. And head downwards to the jungle. Sometimes at this angle here, on the top of the pond, you might be lucky enough to see one of the tortoises or the small tortoises. I like to sit on the extraction pipe. No, not there now, usually early in the morning. Warming themselves in the morning sun. Coming down towards our, back to Eden Garden, which I'm still working on clips for. I'm talking quietly, deliberately, because I don't want them to come charging yet. More on that later. making our way towards the electric fencing and believe me it does give a jolt I'm going to remove the top two strands and straddle it and you really need to make sure it doesn't make contact with what's between your legs because it'll make your eyes water okay pockets in position top one off hang it up here go back for the second one <coughs> suspend that on this Straddle the third wire holding the family jewels under the rubber glove or inside the rubber glove over and hook over my pockets. Without touching electric fence. Oh yeah mother. And head off towards their trough. don't have a proper commercial trough I only have this old half cut tire it's probably older than a lot of people who watch these videos but that's what it was used for and now we'll just spread out the, the slop the porridge around it excess water is we'll just get the rest of the porridge in there okay scrape out the remnants and that bucket will go back up to be washed now we'll spread out the treats some nice moldy brown bread with seeds And then, now somebody that's watching this will probably say this is all wrong. Let's not forget, I only became a pig farmer a month ago. I have a lot of things to learn. But at the moment, things are going quite my way. As long as I don't have any serious problems, I'm sure they'll be very happy with this smorgasbord of food and I'm sure if they're not happy they'll also let me know so there that part of the job is done now we can make a noise 
And now we will call for the porkers in my way of calling for them. Here we go, hold your ears. Piggy porkers, oink oink, oink oink oink, crook crook, oink oink, piggy porkers, piggy porkers, oink oink, oink oink oink, piggy porkers, oink oink, oink oink oink, crook crook. Piggy porkers. Come on, porkers. <coughs> Maybe they're in a deep sleep somewhere. Piggy porkers. <coughs> Come on, porkers. Porkers. Piggy porkers. <coughs> Here they come. Here they come. Come on, oinkers. Oinkers. Come on, mates. Hello, oinkers. Hello, mate. And we're going to have some supper. Yes, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink. Right, what we got here? Let's have a look, see what we got here. Hello, oinkers. Hello, mate. Can I have your porridge? Can I have your porridge? Yes, 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 yes. Let's get tucked in. Let's get tucked in. I like when they, someone's got a few scratches on its back, probably from something, not from fighting, but from, from thorny stuff out there. This, you know, they could be down here on their own, which they are actually for, you know, like 23 hours of the day. But this gives me opportunity to feed them and just to come and check on their welfare. Okay, if they get caught up in something. Sorry, a bit of just readjustment of the of the chest rig. They will squeal like pigs and the dogs will start to bark and I'll know there's something I need to investigate. But they're really enjoying themselves down here. They've got over an acre of jungle to roam around in. They have a fresh running stream through it, so there's no need for to supply them with the water. They can get themselves, make a mud bath and they can wallow in the mud. They're very happy pigs. And putting on weight at a drastic rate of knots. Okay. So, beer time for Robert. Not as cold as I would like it to be, as I said. It's nice here in the shade of the willow, but it's really warm. In the mid thirties in my uh, gazebo, because it's got plastic sheeting on it and it's like 40 degrees on the thermometers facing the west. I hope that this is filming what I want to film because you don't see the back of the camera when you've got a chest rig on, but when you need your hands free, it's either a chest rig or a hand rig or you have to rig up the camera, fix it to something. Oh, yes, yes, shove you out the way. Yes, get out of the way. Shift your fat ass out the way. Because I needs to get in the porridge orders. Yes, 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 yes. Oi, oi, oi. Calm down, you lot. No fighting. There's plenty of food for everybody. Mm -hmm. Now, if you recall, when I brought the pigs here from up near Schumann, from a pig farm, uh, two were roughly 30 kilograms and two smaller ones were roughly 20 kilograms but i think they've put on quite a bit of weight since then in what a month six weeks mm, i just saw a big horse fly on that i hate horse flies mm. you know ah never mind calm down calm down calm down it's only a horse fly i know it's painful when they bite i know i know i don't like them either Maybe I should have pulled them in the shade. Yeah. My part of Bulgaria is full of biting things at the moment. Biting flies, wasps. Bees are still quite active, but the flies and the horse flies. And mosquitoes as well. What to do? Can't have it always. 
take her off with a smooth, I guess. Mm. Something buzzing around. Huge thing buzzing around. Oi, go away. It's nice to watch somebody enjoying their food, huh? This is what's not commonly known as pigging out. Yes, we're pigging out. What else is on the menu? And we likes these cherries. We'll have more of them next time. And some apples and some carrots. Not too keen on them onions he brought down, but you never know. You can have a snack at night. An onion bargy, that's what we need. Mm. Chica, chica. Yes, a bit of sorting out the real estate. There isn't much manners at this table. It's a matter of first come, first served, and the survival of the fittest. Get out of the way, you. You're standing in my cherries. At some stage, I'll make or try to make another trough if I can't find a commercial one. But these tyres work well. Only we tried to do one ourselves and it didn't work. Because I understood you have to cut the whole beading out to be able to open it. This tyre has been cut the opposite way. It was obviously a very large tyre from a tractor or a lorry. And I was trying to do it with a car tyre and it just didn't work. But now I've understood how they must have done it years ago. And okay, it works. Hey! Stop that aggression. Mm. <sighs> and they'll eat their food and then they'll disappear off back into their jungle. They don't stay in their house now, as far as I'm aware. They go out there somewhere. I don't exactly know where they go. They obviously found a place that they like. And uh, there are mulberry trees growing down here. They never were planted, they self-seeded mulberry trees. So they got mulberries and there are plenty of wild plums. They're coming into season now and uh, there'll be windfalls even if they're not ripe. It's all food for them and I don't know what what they're rooting up. I haven't been to see, but I have to go and uh, do a reconnaissance. I can see some huge horse flies on her. Huge things. Mm. Disgusting. And probably another reason why they coat themselves in mud, not just to protect themselves from the sun, or to protect themselves from biting things, or try to protect themselves. Because sometimes they come and they're completely pink, they've had a bath. But most of the time now in this heat, they're coming covered in mud. It's interesting how the instinct tells them to do these things, how they work it out, you know, it's just instinct that they know. Give them a wallow hole and, oh yeah, yeah, this is what we need to do. Go in there and roll about and coat ourselves in mud. Cools us down. and helps to protect us from the sun's rays. This porridge is for uh, small pigs, porkers, and apparently the, the supplier says this, this food is for up till they're around, uh, I think he said 60 kilos, or did he say 80 kilos? I think he said 60, but I always check next time. And then they go to on, on to a different type of porridge and adult food. We still got to work with their winter food. We have uh, 11 decker of wheat grain it will be harvested shortly. We've got to find a way to store that. Uh, we don't have any beet or any description this year so but we'll have a lot of uh, lucerne and we'll have hay and we'll have um, a few tons of uh, wheat grain so we'll have to see but for next year when the herd expands I'll need to start to think about planting some form of uh, food for them for the winter 
beet, corn, I'm not sure what. I'll find out from you guys on the internet who have got much more experience of rearing pigs than I do. But live and learn, huh? Live and learn. So I think that's it. Now it'll probably be another 10 minutes or more before they finish that, then they might come over to say hello. Are you going to come and say hello? No, no. I'm just checking you're still here, that's all. I don't always sit here and watch them. I just, you know, as I say, as long as I know that all four turn up, nobody's limping, no signs of any illness, cuts, serious damage, then, you know, they do their own thing and they're quite happy. They know that I'm no threat to them. I don't feel that they're a threat to me. Although they can bite. They don't do it kind of maliciously. It's just <laughs> they're trying to get the grain if you drop some down your leg or something. So there you go. Okay, let's leave it at that for now. I'll sit here for a little while, finish this nice can of dark beer. And uh, if there's something interesting, I can always uh, switch the camera back on again if the battery doesn't run out. So from me, the four piggies from Bulgarian Organic Small Holding. Hope it's not too boring for you. Please uh, press that subscribe button in the corner and press on that bell for notifications because I do need your subscriptions. As I often say and I repeat myself, it's really the only motivation for making these films. Otherwise, what's the point? Just self-gratification? Okay, enough ranting. Over now for now.